Hello! I'm Mal, and welcome to Sid Meier's Pirates. Pirates? What the hell is this, Mal? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is one of my favorite games of all time. So I thought, you know what? It's a little bit of an older game, but it's a hell of a lot of fun to play. So I wanted to, I've been wanting to show you this for a while. And if you're not familiar, it's a game that originally came out like back in the 80s and then it was remade um, in the in the mid 2000s and it still plays and holds up pretty well today. So it's a kind of a, a simulation uh, RPG sandbox. So let, let's just get started and I'll explain things as we go along, all right? Because I, I think you guys will like this. All right, so I'm obviously going to be Mal and you can select your your level of experience and what this does is it changes how much you get every time you divvy up the loot okay um, and generally speaking I usually play on journeyman or adventurer because if you go with one of these higher end ones it's, it's hard to keep your crew together for any length of time and I like to get the big fleets the big crews and actually like go and attack towns and try to take them over and stuff and really hard to do on these higher level ones um, and I, I play this game so that I can have a good time, not so that I can have, like, ridiculous levels of challenge. I want to be challenged, yes, but I just want to have a good time. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to play on, I'm actually going to play on Journeyman this time. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm pretty good at fencing, so I think I'll take, uh, I think I'll take skill at medicine. Let your character live longer. And then you can pick the date, so it explains to you kind of what the situation's like in each setting. Uh, if anybody's a fan of like uh, that that show on Stars, Black Sails, this game would be like right up your alley. You would just pick this 1680s pirate sunset and hang out, hang out in like uh, you know Jamaica area or what have you, and there you have it. That's pretty much what you're looking at. Uh, I'm gonna go for 1640, War for Profit. I like to get letters of, of Mark and kind of play different sides as I go along. So I will sign on, I guess, as... Hmm. I guess English initially. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. So yeah, I think it looks yeah, pretty good, considering. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Uh, so basically, this guy pissed us off, and we took over his ship. Alright, so, Marin State Kits. You can see it's a an English town. Let's check our status. Uh, da -da -da. I'm 18 years old. I'm in excellent health. Our crew of 40 is very happy. Let's take a look at fleet status. I've got a sloop. That's a great little ship, actually. It's one of my favorites. Um, and you can get all kinds of upgrades. Right now I've got these two different types of shot, but you can get uh, different types of sails and different types of um, coatings for the hull and all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's go to the tavern. Let's try to recruit some people. Actually, no, let's go talk to the governor first. Dear Mr. Mal... Okay, we're at war with the Spanish and the French. Great. He gives us a letter of mark. Uh, a French bark was seen headed there this morning. Okay, great. Okay, now we're going to visit the tavern. Pick up these dudes. There's always some shady character over here. Sometimes he gives you information. Sometimes he, you can buy stuff from him. So you can do whatever you want, okay? You can you can fight for the state or the different countries, and you can change alliances as you go along, which is usually what I do. You can simply buy and trade stuff. Uh, obviously, like this guy's telling us, luxuries are worth 23 and and Montserrat. So we could go to like some of these other colonies and pick up luxuries and take them there and sell them. So you could be a merchant, uh, merchant captain. You can literally do whatever you want. Wayne and Zella. Oh, just remember to be a skilled sailmaker. Aboard this ship, French sloop bound for San Juan. Okay, now that's worth going after. 
So we're gonna look for this ship when we leave port, see if we can take her. And we're over them anyway, so why not? So as you go up in status, um, you'll gain uh, you'll gain different rank. Okay, so like right now we have a letter mark with English, but we can gain it with Spanish, French, Dutch, and so on. Um, and then our relatives, there's a whole system about like your lost relatives that you can go after. And I'm not going to get into all that right now anyway, but needless to say, all of these points um, are culminated at the end when you go to retire. And then it kind of gives you sort of like, what did you end up as? And if you did really well, you might end up as say like a governor. If you did really poorly, then you like retire as like a shoemaker or something, right? Um, but, you know, I, I, I like the, the freedom and sandbox nature of this game, you know, which is a staple in a lot of, of Sid Meier games. Um, this one was one of my, well, it, probably my favorite PC game of all time is, is the original game that I played back on the C the C64. So this remake on the PC is always a game that I've come back to. So we'll, we'll try it out. We'll see if you guys like it. If you want to watch more episodes of it, great. If not, that's okay too, but I'm going to play a few episodes of it. And uh, hopefully you do like it. All right, so let's leave. Let's leave uh, port here. Now let's see. Is this the guy we want? No, this is the guy we want right here. So we're gonna get some wind. Yeah, and we're gonna attack him. Oh no. I don't think so, pal. Alright, we're gonna go at him. Oh, that was a good broadside. Alright, so you hit him. And pick your weapon of choice. So you should go with a rapier. You can see the number, the balance of power at the bottom as represented by us, the two captains fighting and the number of people you have. There we go. Pretty much kicked his ass. Okay, so I got the sailmaker. So he's like an officer that joins your crew. Great. And we can take the, um, we can take the other ship and the people and all their stuff. You can also, you also have the option to sink her, but right now I only had one ship, so I might as well, right? Uh, I could attack these Dutch guys, but I don't think I will right now. I think I'm better off not. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to these towns. Let's go to the ship right. 260 gold to repair this ship, huh? Well, I guess we don't have much choice. Anything we can sell? Yeah, we got some spice we can sell. If you don't have enough gold or you're at sea too long, your, your men start getting really, really pissed off at you. Now, see, that's an English ship that she's telling us that's got a thousand gold on board, which I'd love to take, but I don't want to piss off the English right now. So, just back out to see we go. Depending on the composition of your fleet, typically your whatever your flagship is, gives you a general general speed out here on this main kind of sailing map. So I'm going to go around to these towns and pick up some extra crew. Uh, a French sloop bound for St. Kitts. Okay. So we're definitely going to go intercept that. It's nice to get these, if we can get these right away. These extra officers, they help a lot. Yeah, come here. No, no, no. Get away from him, English Raider. No. Okay, so we want this guy right here. Come here. Yeah, 
we've got the win. 11 knots in his three. Yep, we're boarding you. It's happening. this thing oh, another sloop okay good small fast ships that's usually what I go with so now we can read all along here. here I'll show you where we are area map wise zoom out Okay, so we've got all these French cities down here, and then down here in like the essentially the Spanish main, uh, we've got tons of targets down here that we can go after. And again, we can raid ships, um, we can try to go after treasure galleon fleets, we can go after other pirates, uh, villages, towns, whatever. It just depends on what resources you have and how bold you want to be. Uh, or not. Again, I could just be like a peaceful trader guy and go from port to port. Uh, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, <laughs> I think you can guess as to why I'm not going to do that. Oh, treasure ship. Ooh, and a French raider. Hmm. Okay, so this is one of those things where we got to kind of be bastards. And we're actually going to go ahead and attack the treasure ship, even though it's English. But Mal, aren't we English guys? Yep, we, we are, but that's a treasure ship and we want the money. So, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take it. And we'll end up probably fighting that French sleep of war also. And it'll kind of balance out in the wash. We won't go back to any kind of port for a while. And the governor will be like upset that we took a treasure ship. But if we fight a bunch of enemies, it kind of balances out. And turn. He's going to fire, I think. I'm surprised he didn't fire on us. I guess we had a good I guess we had a good angle. Okay, that guy was terrible. Welcome to board. Now do I want this thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll take everything, but let's we'll go ahead and... Well, well, I guess we will take... I guess we'll take her, just if for no other reason, take her back to town and we'll sell her. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attack that French ship also. Because why the hell not, right? Oh, turn, turn, turn! Alright, there we go. take everything uh what is this thing oh sleep of war okay now let's go to fleet status sleep of war is ideal so and they've got upgraded sails and bronze plating so we will switch that and we'll make that our flagship yep which we'll rename 
Uh, oh, I don't know. What do we want to call this one? Slip of War. Uh, I don't know. I need a name. Uh, what are we going to call it? <laughs> uh, we're going to call it. We're going to call it Fuzzy Bear. Yep, that's what we're calling it. Mm hmm. The infamous. The inf infamous Sloop of War Fuzzy Bear. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. D -d hey! Okay, is everybody happy? It sounds like they're happy. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, fleet status. Status. Okay. 142 is very happy. Alright. So we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. See how that port the port was firing at me? It's because I'm getting a little bit of notoriety in the area. Now, if none of those hit, which I don't think they will, this guy's going to get away. Yeah. Penance? Nah, we're not going to catch him. Too fast. And we should be able to go down and get a couple of Spanish ships. I think that's what we'll do, is we'll go down, we'll hit a couple of Spanish ships, and then we'll head to some port to sell this big, slow, lunky ship here, and then we'll get repairs. What do we got there? What are, what are you? Invasion force? Ooh. Uh, this is risky, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to take this war galleon. He only outmans me and outguns me. No big deal, right? That's gonna be a good broadside right there. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, Fuzzy Bear. Hold together, hold together. Yeah! Spin, 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 spin! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Did you see that? That's what I'm talking about. All right, Fuzzy Bear, bring us in. All right, going down! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we have it. Alright, we'll keep her, but I think... I think, yeah, we gotta go back to port now. Barely have enough crew and our ships are damaged. Yeah, we can't go there. Where's the closest friendly port? Barbados? Okay, yeah, we'll head there. Come on. Ugh. Headed, headed into the trade winds against the streams with damaged ships and a storm coming. It, it, not ideal. Not ideal. Come on. You can kind of cut back and forth like so to speed your ships up. Hey, look at the little dolphin. Hello, dolphin. I love this game. If you can't tell, love it so much. Hope you guys like it too. Probably pick it up on, I guess as you could pick it up on Steam or good old games or something like that. Probably pretty inexpensive. All right, let's go to the ship right. First things, actually, no, first thing we wanna do is go trade with the merchant and unload our stuff. Because if you don't unload your stuff, 
then what happens is if you sell a ship, which we're gonna do, you end up losing a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Do I want to keep this war galleon? Not really. Dullard's Walk, 140 ton East Indiaman. I guess I could keep that one ship and upgrade its sails. I don't know. Well, I'm selling this war galleon, that's for sure. And if I sell this. Oh, alright. I didn't have to keep it. Good. So, let's, uh, repair. Who else was damaged? You. Yep. Now, I'm not gonna upgrade their sails. Because these ships are all pretty fast as it is. And again, you go roughly the speed of your flagship. So, I've got copper plating and cotton sails, so... The ship's already pretty fast. Uh, as you gain, like, rank, reputation, or what have you, with a certain faction, like, for instance, the English, then these upgrades become less expensive. That's another reason why you kind of want to hold off. Okay, let's grab these guys. Skilled surgeon aboard the dragon. Spanish sloop bound for Barbados. Okay, so we'll intercept the dragon when we leave here. And we're picking up the these ship officers really early in the game, which is awesome. See, so he was happy about those other things and then said, oh, but you took this English treasure ship. But we still got promoted, so <laughs> who cares? Then he should introduce us to his daughter, right? All right, now... If you want to, like, go to the dance with her or whatever, you can. And there's, like, a little mini game for the dance. Um, these ones that are, like, kind of plain or or not that attractive or however you want to phrase it, they'll give you, like, gifts, nice upgrades, actually, for your character or information, which is really the only reason to do it. Um, I'll, I'll accept her invitation and show you guys this. I'm not all that great at this part of the game. So as that little heart meter up top goes, She's, like, happier with you or whatever. More charmed by you, I guess. Now, what's kind of funny about this to me is... Uh, you know, not to say that, I guess, technically a woman couldn't lead in a dance, because certainly, I guess, she could. But I, I don't think in this time frame they did. And she is. Which I think is hilarious. Like, yeah, go this way. Alright, so we actually did that without stumbling. So she should give us, at the very least, some information. Hello. Such a charming rogue. I have information. Okay. Oh, so this is cool. So, it's like, she's telling us about this guy. It's wanted for the crown. Okay, I'll note that in my log. Eventually, you know, just like a little mini... Just a little m mini quest or whatever for some cash. So it's kind of cool, right? Alright, let's check our status again. Uh, 138. Crew is very happy. 18 years old. Excellent health. Alright, so we're off to a really good start. Uh, let's see. Where's that ship we wanted to get? I think it was on its way to Barbados? It was a Spanish ship, wasn't it? Where are you? Hmm. 
At least I thought it was. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Nah, I'm going into the storm. I don't care. I want that ship. Come here, El Dragon. Nope, nope, nope. That's not going to be good enough to keep me away. No, sorry. Too fast. I'm too fast. Oh, I, that was supposed to be a block. Not a jump. Come on. There we go. Nice. There we go, we got the surgeon. And the people, and the ship. About as good as you can get right there. Uh, we need more crew to really go after some bigger targets. So I think what we'll do is we'll head... Take us back up to some English ports. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a friend's ship that wants to give us their stuff. Such nice, such nice people, the French. So hospitable. Oh, I think you're gonna be unarmed. You have no guns. Just surrender. <laughs> Actually, I might be able to take a couple more ships while we're headed to port here. Come on. No? no nobody wants to come out? Can't say that I blame you. Ooh, a brick of war protecting a merchantman. This might be nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, turn into this guy. Turn into him. Okay. Gotta be on it on this one. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that takes care of the escort. And we still gotta deal with the main ship we were after. So we gotta turn before they get a good broadside on us. Come on, Fuzzy Bear. There we go. Ah, that's right. That's right. Who's the swordsman? I forgot what the max number of ships is. Oh, Pirate Hunter. Ah, uh, that sucks. I think it's eight, if I remember correctly. So you can't have a, a fleet maximum. So this guy, we'll start getting more of these now, since we 
captured so many ships in these waters, they actually sent a, like a dedicated hunter after us. But he's not a big deal. Matter of fact, looks like I'm sort of kicking his ass here. Yeah, that's right. Alright, let's get away from those cannons though. Don't don't like those. Alright, so yeah, there's your first look at uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. I hope that you uh, hope that you guys liked it. And let me know. Let me know if you want to see more of this, because I really enjoy playing it, and I, I like sharing this old school game with you, so I, I, again, I hope you did like it. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate your comments and your feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mel, and I will see you later.